Hey y'all, it's Sable. Welcome to your 20 minute tone. This is Pilates Fusion and I'm really excited about this workout because I'm gonna use these fun little leg weight props. Now you can do this whole video without the leg weights, no worries there, but I have a lot of fun using different props and creating different workouts for you all here. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a single leg bridge. <clears throat> So we're gonna go ahead and cross our left ankle on top here. And we're gonna pulse and down. So try and keep your hips nice and square right here. Drive that up. And then if you can, we're gonna extend that front leg. So we're like, we're reaching that toe into the ceiling. You've got to brace through your core right here to stay even. Three, two, and one, switch sides. So crossing that right foot on top, push up, pull down. So this whole video, full 20 minutes, on the floor right here, on the mat, I used to hate working out on the mat. I used to hate putting my clients on the mat because I thought that the perception is that if you're on the mat, you're not gonna get a good workout. Let's go ahead and extend that front leg. But that's just the wrong way to think. You can get just an effective workout on the floor as you can standing up. Drive that toe into the ceiling for me, come on. Three two, and one. Pull those legs down. We're gonna take scissors. So we're gonna straighten those legs out right here. Lift and pull. Take your time. Do you feel really cool doing scissor legs? I do. <laughs> There's a lot of strength to be found on the floor. Keep it going for me. Five, four, three, two, one, pull those knees into your chest. Perfect. And we're actually gonna alternate right here, pulling knees in and out. <clears throat> so alternating dancer legs. One side and one side. So we're starting here, leaving our upper body down on the floor, pulling legs in. You've really gotta to connect to your breath work. Work in the core deep like this. And we're gonna get ready to advance this right here by lifting that upper body, pulling those knees into your chest. I bet you look beautiful right now. Feel beautiful, feel powerful. Three, two, and one. We're gonna lift. We're gonna put some work here in to the back of the arm. We're gonna take the tricep extension here, tricep extension. So here's the first level. Keeping that booty, excuse me, on the floor. 
Those biceps are pressed into your rib cage on the back. Thumbs face forward, fingers turned out. So we're just giving those thighs, hip flexors, and abs just a little bit of rest right here. And we're gonna take this up a notch right here. Bend and lift, bend and lift. Beautiful. Keep going, three and two and one. Perfect, I'm gonna reset right here. Let me get my timer on. We're gonna leave the arms behind the hips here and we're pulling those knees in. So I'm supporting my upper body, pulling in tight right here. Breathe. Three, two, you can do it. And one, switch sides. So you're on your low back right here. Keep that chin tucked into your chest. Three, two, one. Beautiful work. Sit up just a little bit. Release the tension in that low back for me. We're gonna take it onto our side. Fold that elbow underneath. <coughs> Let me move my notes. So fold here. Straighten, lengthen at the hip for me. Take that top leg out. So you're gonna bend into the floor, lift, and sweep, down, lift, sweep, down, lift, sweep. We're getting obliques here. We are getting side booty and we're getting thighs. I dig it. We've got about 10 more seconds right here. And then we will rest that elbow. Cause yes, you're still getting shoulders too. Yes, take it down. Rest that upper body. Point that toe lift. So if you're already subscribed to the channel, you've seen that I do a variety of work here. We have weightlifting and we have stuff like this. Strength looks different at different times. Because believe me, this has taken a lot of strength for you to get that leg up every time. Now little lifts. Little pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Switching sides. So set up, get that elbow right underneath your shoulder. Lengthen through that bottom hip. Straighten the top leg. Here's your bend and sweep. Now it's gonna be harder on this side because we've just worked the fire, the fire out of that right hip. And now we're asking it to support us while we work the other side. But 
but we're here for it. Are you here for all the work? Go ahead and give me a thumbs up right here if you're here for the work. About five more seconds for me. Stay strong. And then we're going to rest that bottom hip. That's it right there. Lay it down. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling it. It's cooking. It's cooking. All right. Extend that top leg. Lift. Breathe. So right here, you're going to want to stay square, stay stacked. Don't let that hip rock back. Come forward. Lean into the work. Don't run from it. Little lifts right here. Fight for it. Three, two, one. Good job. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're not done. We're going into fold over position right here on the elbows. So we just worked the left. Let's take it to the right. We're gonna point that toe up. Point and pull. Point and pull. Keep your knee in line with your hip right here. Little tips here to make it work for you. And then keep that foot lifted here. Push it up. Three, two, one. Well done, we're gonna switch it to the other side. Take a little shoulder stretch right there if you need it. And then do the other side. Point that toe up, pull it down. Pull your belly button up into your back right here. Keep the wiggle out of your hips. Focus in and breathe. Connect your mind and body through these workouts. Keep it lifted right here. Three, two, one, good job. We're gonna peel it all the way down. Toes in turnout position. Bring those arms beside your body. Keep your chin tucked in for Superman lifts. You're gonna exhale here as you lift. And down. Please take your time on your Superman lifts and focus on getting as much of this rib cage away from the mat as you can while keeping your neck in line with the rest of your spine. And this is it right here. And I always follow Superman with a big child's pose to re-round that spine. And we're gonna bring it down into single leg hamstring lifts right here. So you're gonna wanna put your forehead down here under your hands. 
I'm going to start with my right side and push that leg away from the floor. It's not about height. It's about the squeeze right here in your hamstring and your booty. And switch legs. So yeah, sometimes feeling it makes a difference. For me, my left side is always kind of lazy. Perfect. We are gonna take this right here, up into tabletop position. And we're gonna take our right arm and left leg out. We're gonna extend and pull in, okay? So we're gonna take it out, pull in. Try and bring elbow and knee together. Crunching across your body. Find that flat tabletop every time you reach. And then it's okay to have a little bit of bend when you pull in. Switch sides. Perfect. We're gonna take it into a push-up and down dog combo. So if you need to do this on the knees right here, this is what that looks like. So push up, stretch it back. You've got plenty of time. Cause we're here for a whole minute. I love the strength and the power that comes from this right here. Can you control your body? Can you hold yourself up? Last push up. Beautiful. And we're gonna take this into a plank and pull. Here we go, this is your last couple of minutes of work. So we're gonna pull across with that right leg. Lift. Across. And lift. Switch sides. Y'all, I'm shaking like a leaf right now. I did the 10 minute tone series before this. So if you want that same effect, you should give that a shot. That's it. Stretch it out right here. Let's take those hands behind for a little stretch. Ooh. Sweat is rolling. My muscles are fatigued to shaking. This is the kind of work that you can expect to find on the mat 
and right here with me. So make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any of this. Thanks for being here.